So the place where you want to actually measure your wrist size is at your wrist bone right here on this line or up to one inch higher on the wrist because this is where your watch will sit most of the time. Now it's important to know that before taking the measurement, you want to open your hand and this is because your wrist gets bigger. It's very clear here, if you look at this part right here, my wrist gets bigger when I open my hand and you want to take that extra size in consideration or else your reading won't be good. It just will be easier if you rotate your hand with the palm of your hand facing upward and you open your hand and we are going to measure our wrist in this position. It's actually easier if you make a loop with the measuring tape and you actually grab this part and put your wrist inside the loop. Of course, the wrist that you want to measure is the one that you're gonna wear your watch on because your wrists don't have exactly the same size. Then you just have to put the tip of the measuring tape in the middle of your wrist and tighten it up. So as you can see, I have 15 centimeters wrists or 5.9 inches, but when I open my hand, as I told you, whoop, I will gain, I would say two to maybe three millimeters. Once again, see, it's very clear that the wrist size changes when you open your hand. It doesn't change that much when you close your fist, right? You can see that, but when I open my hand, whoop, it's a bit bigger, so you want to take that into account. So always remember, take your measurement and open your hand. This is the right reading right here. And in my case, it's 15.2 centimeters or 152 millimeters. So you might think to yourself, well, two to three millimeters doesn't make that much of a difference, right? Well, sometimes it can. It depends on how a particular bracelet, strap or band will fit around your wrist. And now bear in mind that two to three millimeters is my difference because I have small wrists. So of course, if you don't have a measuring tape, you can do the exact same measurement with a piece of string or a piece of paper. I would just say in that case, take a piece of paper that is not super wide, take something narrow and it's super easy to do. Actually, it's the same principle. So you just have to put that piece of paper or that piece of string around your wrist. You want to fit it snugly. Don't forget to open your hand and then you can mark the paper where they meet. And sure enough, by measuring the distance between the marks on the piece of paper with any ruler, you will find pretty much the same distance. You see here that I have actually 15.4 centimeters or 154 millimeters because of the way the paper wraps around my wrist, it needed a little more space. Now to the important part, your wrist size doesn't translate directly to a bracelet, a strap or a band size. And this is because the way these straps and bracelets wrap around your wrist. So let's check that out right now. So the most common type of bracelets and bands that you're gonna find on a watch are a metal bracelet, a leather band and a needle strap. And I took these because they wrap around your wrist in a totally different way. Let's begin by the metal bracelet. As you can see, because of the links, this bracelet can really wrap around your wrist without a problem. So this is gonna be the snugger of the three. Before taking the measurement, of course, I have to close the clasp right here. And you can see that when I take the measurement from inside the bracelet, I get 161 millimeters or 16.1 centimeters, which is just one centimeters bigger than my actual wrist size. But because the metal bracelet can actually take the exact same shape as your wrist, you will be able to still fit your index finger in there, which means that it will still be comfortable to wear even if it's only one centimeter more than your actual wrist size. Now onto a leather band. I will put this one on my wrist. And in order to get a proper fit with a leather band on this watch, I need to put this band on the third hole, as you can see, one, two, three. Just pay attention where the actual band meets the buckle right there. I would say five millimeters from the tip. And when I take the measure from five millimeters from the tip of the buckle right there, up until the third hole, I get a reading of 170 millimeters or 17 centimeters, which is two centimeters more than my wrist size. And this happens because a leather band doesn't wrap around your wrist like a metal bracelet would. And of course, with two more centimeters, you can still fit your index finger in there, no problem, which makes it still comfortable, but it won't turn around. It will still fit snugly around your wrist. And last but not least, of course, we have the needle strap. If you look under the watch, you have a double layer of strap. So this will make this strap need even more room than a leather band. Let me pop it on my wrist. 
And as you can see, to have a snug fit, it doesn't move around my wrist. I need to go on the one, two, three, four, fifth hole. Again, we have about five millimeters from the tip of the buckle. So when you line up the end of the ruler with the right part of the buckle and we take a reading at the fifth hole, we get 17.6 millimeters, which is basically 2.6 millimeters more than my actual wrist size, which translates to a full inch more. And this is because there's a gap between the needle strap and your wrist. It's even more visible on this side right here. This is why you have to account for a little bit more room because the needle strap won't fit snugly on this part of your wrist. But you can see it's pretty snug for the rest of my hand. It just won't go anywhere. So you have to take that into account and add at least one inch or 2.5 centimeters. 